What's going on everyone? This is EK1 Gaming here and today we're going to be unboxing something that I have wanted for so long. Finally, I have one and that is the Epos Sennheiser Game Zero. Now, first things first, right, before I unbox this, just check this out. This is a headset. Look at how thin that package is. Just look at how thin that is. It's probably what? three inches maximum so i've been looking forward to getting this headset for a long time and um, i've actually got this headset and i've got the game one headset so one of them is open one of them is closed as in open acoustic closed acoustic this is the closed however i wanted to do this one first because this is something that i've wanted for a while because of its portability not because it's wireless but i'll go into it when we open up this um, headset. So first of all, massive thank you to Virtual Comms, massive thank you to Epos Sennheiser, and if you haven't seen it, head over to Epos Audio um, and check out this headset. Also on their Twitter, they are actually sharing my videos, which is fantastic, so I really appreciate the support from Epos Sennheiser. So, let's get into unboxing this beauty. And I say beauty because, oh my God, like, you don't understand how long I have been looking at this headset, wanting to get my hands on it. Two thousand years Ooh. later. Oh! They wrap it good. They wrap it good. It's because there's like a slight thing on top here. You can't really go open. But hey, we're gonna leave that in the video as well. I'm not even gonna edit that out. So here we go. First off, you know I am a sucker. For packaging right you know that I have a thing for packaging and look at how nice this packaging looks it's got the the game series game zero on here it's like embedded into there in like a silver it's it looks cool and it, it, it's really impressive the packaging itself is impressive you got a little sign to say open here so we're gonna pull that up and then we're gonna take a look what's inside now this this here is exactly why I wanted this headset and to get my hands on it and to try it and to do all this good stuff simply we're gonna leave the box over here now and we're gonna take this out the bag talk about packaging and presentation this is a Sennheiser carry case for your headset look at how thin that carry case is this carry case, I reckon probably 10, 10 inches maybe across, maybe a little bit less. And it's, it's, it's beautiful. It feels nice. And I, I honestly just can't wait to get inside this. So we're going to go straight into it. You know, I could go all day about this packaging and the fact that they give you this carry case, which makes it portable. If you're like me, you travel around different locations, you want to take your headset with you, then this oh my god this is definitely the one for you it's got a carry handle on it as well so it's very portable very good uh, in terms of portability so now let's do it let's get into it you can probably tell i'm excited and i haven't opened this before so oh my god wow to me like this is like christmas just just getting this headset being able to touch this headset and have hands on with this headset is like Christmas. So first things first, let's just get straight to it. Let, let's just get into it. We're looking at the headset. How flexible it is. You know, look at how flexible this headset actually is. So it's simple, folds down, clips into place. And then of course you have the flexibility of the ear pads at all times, so they are flexible. We then have the microphone which we'll try and pull off might need to get the knife here we'll get the knife just kind of cut this down here without ruining the actual mic itself gently pull off we'll get that little bit off afterwards but first things first do you remember me saying a while ago about the headphones like about saying they're not flexible well, they only went and did it. They only went and did it where you can actually 
bend the headphone. Of course, this bit of plastic is going to come off. Kind of bugging me, so let's get it off now. Bugging you is easy because you're buggable. And bugging you is all I ever wanted. Oh, he's got it. He's gone and got it. But anyway, so yeah, one of my things for the whole um, Sennheiser experience before was the fact that it was a rigid microphone all the time. It was always rigid. It was never flexible. Now you can bend it. Now you, you only have certain parts to bend. You can't just like bend the end because that's a solid plastic piece. This part in the middle here is kind of rubbery. This is where you can bend. So if you want it round, bend it round. If you want it straight, have it straight. I honestly just love how this works. And you know what? It's like all the videos that I did before are just leading up to this one headset. It meets the whole criteria that I've mentioned on all of my previous videos, such as one of my pet peeves with the Sennheiser uh, headsets before was that even though they were wired, you couldn't remove the wire to store this on like a stand. On this one, you can. Simple, you know? The headset feels so nice. That there is like a, um, I don't know if it's like, it's kind of like a rubbery, soft cushion. It's really nice. It feels so good. The earmuffs, of course, again, that Sennheiser quality with the uh, leather, like the leather feel earmuffs. They can be changed. You can just pull them out and attach new earmuffs, which you can buy from the EPOS Sennheiser store. I'm going to put the um, case now on the floor just so it's out of the way so we can take a better look at the headset itself. Now, of course, this feels great. You know, just like every other Sennheiser headset that I have reviewed or that they've sent me. And believe me, I've been sent, what, five or six of the headsets now. I'm um, actually in the process of getting one of the mix amps, so I cannot wait to try the amp out or the sound card out that they send out, which is going to be fantastic. Again, this has got the standard buttons. But instead of being um, like lifted out of the headset, this is just like embedded into the headset so you can't actually see the wheel from the side but that's the volume wheel again it all feels so nice this is very grippy the design of it fantastic they always do a great job in terms of sturdiness you know you can bend it just like the old ones and um, it's very sturdy you know it's kind of headset that you would use as like a portable headset because of the fact you know if you drop this if you um twist it you bend it you stand on it the likelihood is it's not going to break because they do that with all of their headsets they build them at such a quality that it just outdoes any other brand when it comes to headsets now this headset is obviously a little bit more expensive than the gsp 300 which we reviewed last time which may i add is an absolutely amazing headset for that value you cannot get a headset like it this when i last looked was 169 pounds however you're talking about you know a higher quality of audio a higher quality mic you were talking it's flexible in terms of you know it's portable you get the carry case so there's so many different things that come with each option of sennheiser but one thing that always stays the same is the quality of the build of the actual headset and i've not had one headset with bad quality build like where i can't bend it or it's not you know it feels like it's going to break it feels cheap this feels exactly how it should you know even the little parts here like the the right and left it feels sturdy you know even though they're twisting you can feel them they feel like they're meant to do that it's not like it's going to snap off when you twist it like this you know you can twist it the other way when it stops, there's resistance, but it does not feel like it's going to snap off. Of course, if you grab it and really yank it and, and try and break it, you will. But general, like carrying it around or usage, is not going to affect this product. And believe me, I cannot wait to actually try it on, to get it on, try it in games, and try it just generally across the board and, and just see the sound quality, the mic quality, because I know for a fact 
this is going to be one of the best headsets that I have in my Sennheiser collection because one, I've researched this headset a lot previously. Two, I've never heard a bad word against it. And three, it's Sennheiser. It's Epos Sennheiser. They don't make terrible headsets. So if something was terrible from these, trust me, I would be very, very surprised. Every time I receive one of these headsets or receive any kind of product from Epos Sennheiser, I know automatically that I'm receiving a high quality product. And when I do my research on the product, which I do, I research a lot on each product to make sure that I've got facts, to make sure that I know what I'm going into when, when I'm um, explaining how it works or features. And I've got to tell you, it's so consistent across the board, even from a kind of 59 pound headset or $59 headset, all the way up to the 160 or 200 dollars or whatever this is going to be in america um it, it the, the build quality just stays the same and it shocks me a lot that they can actually do that and have that range but not lack in the quality um like i say this is probably going to be the headset that i'm going to use all of the time and you guys know me like i love a wireless headset you know we have the gsp 370 which i love don't get me wrong, I love that headset. It's wireless, it's perfect. This to me though, probably gonna be my number one headset for now, at, at least for now. Um, but yeah, anyway, let's get into some more kind of how it looks and, and what it kind of does and how it works. So with the headset, it's just a standard headset again, you put the lead in the bottom here. Now the thing is with the lead here, you have exchangeable cables for multiple multiple platform usage so the cables can actually change depending which platform because this works on ps4 pc mac mobile and tablet switch and xbox multi-platform works on them all simple you've got the the plug here that goes in just plug it into the bottom and i've got to say when it goes in it goes in quite far. If you, if you can see this, let me just show you here how far this actually goes in. You can see it. That's you know that's all that's left of this. So it goes in a good kind of inch, inch and a half into the headset. So that is not going to fall out. Another positive about this braided cable. The last thing I like is just a standard cable. You know I don't like standard cables. Braided cables now to me should just automatically be a thing. It stops you from fraying the cable, you know, um, splitting cables. And for me, generally, they're easier to kind of manage in terms of like you can just keep them tied up like this if you want to, or and it just feels better. It looks better, feels better. On the end, of course, you've got your mic and your um, uh, sound. So it's just simple green and pink, the same as every other headset. And of course you can change these for different platforms etc it also comes with that two-year warranty now all of the sennheiser headsets that i've been getting recently have all got that two-year warranty that's a guarantee or a warranty for two whole years so if anything goes wrong that's how confident they are in their product to give two years on a headset is is incredible especially if you're going to use this headset a lot you know because two years on a headset is a long time you know i've had multiple headsets from different companies i won't name the companies and i've bought expensive headsets if you've been following my channel for a long time you'll know that previously i used to uh, use a very well branded headset you know i was always using that headset and it lasted about a year then it broke and then basically they said there's nothing they can do because it was over 12 months. So to see that we've got two years with this is incredible. Um, having that extra year on the warranty is fantastic. So basically what it is with this, this headset is built for you know the multi-platform use. It's built for flexibility and it's built for that comfort, that, that memory foam Sennheiser comfort. And believe me, every headset that I've put on, they are all comfortable. I do have some interchangeable um, ear muffs or ear pads or whatever you want to call them. I have got a pack of those. They did send me a pack of those as well, which is fantastic. But honestly, I've never had to use it because 
the headset's comfortable as it is. It's not something that I would change on this at all. Again, like I say at the top of the headset here, it is so like padded that it's not gonna hurt at all. I do like, again, the flexibility adjustment. And then inside here, you have the branding game zero with your serial numbers and all that good stuff. I honestly cannot wait to use this. I think it looks very smart. I kind of like the red. I've never been a fan of red. I'm always like, you know, Mrs. EK will tell you, always blue for me. Everything's always blue. But recently, like the red colors, and it's like, um, I don't know how to explain it, like a titanium red. So it's got that like silvery titanium feel on, on the red. And you know what? It's It looks and feels great. You know, if I could pick a color, I probably would have picked blue. But you know, red is cool as well. It, it looks good. And the fact that I can just put this in the carry case, you know, and, and be done with it, uh, travel wherever I want with this headset is incredible, you know. Um, for me, that's a big plus to this headset. So if you're a gamer just like me who maybe travels, who maybe um, visits different people but still has to keep up your content, maybe you're a content creator, you still have to keep up that content or keep up that um, those videos, this is going to be a perfect headset just along with the carry case itself. So guys, I mean, that's going to be the end of the unboxing of the video. You know, um, we're going to review the headset in like a week or two give me a chance to just play around with it get the settings right get a good feel for the headset and then we can do some sound tests and etc on this product i also have like i say the game one headset which we're going to be unboxing as well and then we'll be reviewing that one and you know what i just can't wait to use it so honestly i'm probably going to start using this in a minute because i'm about to hop on to um, Call of Duty Warzone with some of my friends. So we're gonna try this out and just literally go for it. So thank you so much for watching this video. As I say, make sure you subscribe because we're gonna do reviews on each headset as well, just like I have before. Before I was kind of doing the unboxing and the review at once, but this time, you know, we're gonna do unboxing one video, review on a separate video. So thank you so much guys, take care. And I'll see you in the next one. Let's go. Actually, just wanted to add something right now because just as I ended the video, I found something in the package in here, which is what we spoke about earlier, the different board, you know, so you can use it as an actual just headphone. Um, so you could just use this with like, I don't know, your iPhone if you've got the adapter or, the, or your, just your phone, your switch, anything. So they give you the second cable as well as like the gaming cable as well. So that's very, very good of them. It's a very good touch to have, but I just thought I'd add it into the video because me being me, I just chucked this on the floor, didn't bother looking into the little uh, section here, but there it is, you do get the additional cable as well. Thank you so much guys, and I'll see you all in the next one.